Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Parafiles of Videos. Today I'm going to continue the let's play of Frostpunk new DLC called The Last Autumn. If you remember from the previous episode I stopped at day 6th. I had the hunting grounds gathering resources, that is the food. I had this one dog build and now I am ordering new personnel by the telegraph station from England and I do need to continue gathering more resources so I can actually start building the core because you can see here the stage one has begun I am currently in uh, need of producing eight structural profiles but I haven't even researched the necessary research to actually build this building which is going to build those profiles so I do have a lot of work ahead of me as for the laws in the administration panel I should find something new I think I could go with reparation of bodies repatriation of bodies actually instead of on-site burials because there is less chance of something bad happening to my workers and engineers so I'm going to sign this law that requires me to build a morgue but I think a morgue isn't very expensive as far as I saw yeah it doesn't require really any resources so I can just place it here without any worries it just requires an access from the roads there we go uh, so that's that as for the food I do need to start researching more ways of getting food and that is what I will do next once this is finished this research is finished I do have these two homes that need to be finished so that people won't be homeless and I will take some workers away from coal mining to speed that up I do have a good production of wood in the sawmill here and from this wood pile here from the docks but I think I'm going to need metal soon because there is no place else to get metal and I can't really access this ship which has 1000 metal here right now so I will need to build a new dock I should have enough wood for this so another basic dock will go here and I will test something that I thought about a little more from the previous episode when I said that I cannot reach both of these piles of wood with just one resource collecting building motivation rises after building the morgue so yeah like I said I think this needs some workers no it has workers so that's okay I'll pause just for a moment while I explain this the gathering post I was looking at it where I can build it and to me it looked like I couldn't reach both of these wood piles but I'm going to wait for this thing to get constructed to create a wood pile and then see or a metal pile depending on what I want to get and then see whether or not I actually can reach two because this thing only requires 10 workers while the piles require 15 so that would really increase the efficiency especially with more folks now I do have a single person who's sick so I'm going to have to actually make a medical post as well am I going to have the resources for all of this I don't think so I think medical post yeah 25 wood so we have to wait till tomorrow and I am building this so I can get more steel but currently uh, pretty much everything needs wood and a lot of it I'm gonna keep doing wood on both of these just to make sure that I have enough for all the research and then later on I'll see about reducing and changing this to metal so let's go to the next day day 7 and I think I can actually order up more folks to come here yeah, I should get some engineers Estimated time of arrival, one day. Can I like order right now? There we go. So they'll be coming with more workers and engineers. This one sick person I'll take care of tomorrow. Once they are free. What's this? High motivation. Oh, this is excellent. Now I have 30% more efficiency from my workers and engineers because I've increased their motivation up to here. And now this is going to make everything run faster. This is excellent. And like I said, I'm just waiting for that a little bit more wood to actually make this new medical post and make sure my folks get well again. Yeah, that should do it. And you have to really love the idea of the developers. They knew that people would be running the game at fast speed, but important events do lower the speed down to one so you do not waste time. Especially considering how hard this game can be if you do the wrong thing at the wrong time. So I finished the research for profiles manufacturing. And the thing that I most need now is the drawing boards. But I do need to wait a lot of hours to get the resources. And it's almost 10. And they work till 18. So if I wait to get the resources for this, I'm going to waste the time. 
and it's not going to be finished today but if I look here there really isn't anything that I can do right now there is just not enough resources so 16 even if I were to stop this from constructing and I would probably still not have enough wood so what I'm going to try and do is see about this this is 41 this pile of wood needs to start being gathered I think I'm running out of workers I'll need to pull more of them from coal duty and put them here so I'm going to try and speed up the wood collection so that I can actually finish this research potentially today now these guys are busy everything else is filled with workers yeah let's just see how fast can I get to 50 and then have them research this today oh that was excellent that was really fast so I really need this finished today it says eight hours at 100% but I have 109 efficiency and it's 10.02 so I definitely think it's gonna be finished before the working hours are over so that would be great if I can do that at that time and now I just need to get some more wood to actually make that medical post so I can heal up the person who's sick I think the roads have already been established here excellent so that person should be okay and in the administration panel I can do something else it says company funerals but this would require steel instead of wood I think I can sign this because nobody should be dying anytime soon and by the time they start dying I should have steel and considering that ship holds 1000 steel I'm guessing I'm going to be able to use that now there is one additional building like I said that I wanted to build and try out the gathering post so I wouldn't be using 30 people for these wood piles in the placement but both are green if I go down here this is valid but they can get to it so we have to build two of these buildings I mean it's still more efficient to have two of these and 10 folks working here than 15 folks plus it's lower rate of research collection yeah I think the developers did this on purpose just to annoy people like me who would like full efficiency from having this building be here yeah that just isn't gonna work out I know I'm wasting your time <laughs> by trying this I'm just really annoyed that I can do this like this alright then I will place it here actually here and the other one can go here and actually here that's a bit three maybe something bigger can be built here so here okay and I will just need roads to connect these buildings actually the streets I keep calling them roads even though they are the streets and I will take the workers away from here just to make sure that this gets built quickly and then put workers on duty there troubled father letters from home interesting so they get mail from home but there is a censorship policy and this guy's wife has written that his daughter is gravely sick so I could continue with the censorship and this content would rise how would you even know I mean if I'm censoring it how would you know that your daughter is sick and be discontent interesting well I'm not going to censor it and I will let motivation fall slightly I just don't want to be the bad guy here I have more people incoming so I'll need more huts built and huts no they're not huts they're tents one will go here and I think I'll put one here and that will require of course street connections one from here and one from here and uh, we'll need to build the chapel soon as well but that's something I'll leave for a little bit later these buildings should all be finished soon I do have plenty of workers freed up but nobody's collecting coal but that's okay I just need them to finish building all of this yeah there we go now this one will collect all this wood technology finished that's excellent now I'm definitely going for the fishing harbor to get my food stuffs in order because I think that this person got sick because I didn't have enough food so engineers are going to take care of this person treat them and more folks are going to work here and take this food from this pile now you see why I had to do two docks with closed okay what's the I think Storage limit, right, 
because nobody was collecting. So basically the point here is I had to do two docks gathering wood because I simply just have so much wood being spent. I do have some more folks incoming. The tents are being built, so that's excellent. I think this should get connected all the way. I'm not sure why it's... It's probably just somebody not finishing his job. Yeah, there we go. All the tents now getting built. And I am going to get some more food, so I need people here. Okay, I do have people here working. That's excellent. The sick person has been taken care of. And... A research for tomorrow has been chosen to be a fishery. I think I will still be able to go with the steel. I mean, let me just check how much does the fishery need to be built. 10 steel, okay. So I think I should go with a little bit more of wood tomorrow. And then pass on to gathering steel from one of these basic docks. And I will probably even have to get a third dock very soon. But... The important thing is to get more workers from back in London and have them employed as fishermen so I can finally have enough food rations because one team of foragers is definitely not enough, especially considering that I'm using the uh, hearty meals and that spends more of raw food. Okay, transport has arrived. I think they all have homes. That's excellent. And I just need for tomorrow to start so that this research gets finished and I can get more food. And I think I need to build this chapel because I'm running out of time. Let's just see how much is it to build the chapel. 30 wood, 10 steel. Yeah, so this is what I'll build next. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I still cover all the tents here. That's cool. And of course, that's going to need a road connection. I guess from here. Alright, so plenty of wood. And... Like I said, I think I'm going to go over to steel. So chapel build, motivation rises, and that should keep my productivity with the bonus 30%. These ships just brought in more wood, and like I said, with this much wood, I'm going over to steel. Switching resources, I'll stop unloading for some time. Okay, yes, I'm going for metal now. The strut father, sort of, sort of, he wants to talk to you, he begs to let him go home. Well, of course, your child is sick. Of course you're gonna go home. I just hope it wasn't an engineer, because I need those more than I need workers. And I can ship more of them. That would be about 14, and I think... No. I th why? Wait. Logistical over time. So if I just give it more time, I'll be able to order more. Okay, I'll wait a little bit. Fishing harbor finished. Excellent. I think I will go with faster reloading docks will be more efficient that will be excellent i don't need to upgrade this sawmills hmm this actually looks very cheap and upgradable protective structures across the world temporarily reduce the number of inch injuries and from falls and blunt trauma okay this would definitely be a problem I think before I even make this building, I'm going to do this research because I don't want my folks getting injured. So I'm going to go actually with this. Alright, uh, we do have good motivation. We do need to build more and we have the resources to do it. We have these collecting here. This one has reached storage limit on wood. Interesting. I think that's storage limit on the dock itself. Because it's probably just 300. I see, so could I get wood from this place and from this place at the same time? I think I'm going to test this out. So let's see. 8.6, 3.4, so you can actually use the extra workers to get this collected. Huh, that's cool. Alright, uh, one more thing that I need to watch out for is that the wood is getting to its maximum capacity, but I do need to build lots of stuff. So, I'm just going to build more tents first. Which are going to go here and here. And I'm not sure about... Do they have access to roads? There we go. So, more tents because I will be having more people coming over. There we go. One engineer. And I'll wait a little bit more to get more engineers. 
Yeah, the shift's over. I hope this research got a lot done. Yeah, I did. And I might as well then build this. Although, am I going to run out of metal? I just need to make sure that I need to have built everything that needs metal. Yeah, I almost forgot the fisheries. I did research them and I didn't build them yet. So, 40 wood. Then still, where do these go? These go all the way here. I think these are also places where you can build docks. Okay, so this could be problematic because the fisheries are going to take up a room that could be used for docks. Well, I'm going to use the fishery for now, but it seems to me that at some point I might actually go over with more forages rather than these fisheries. But okay, I'll build it for now and see how that goes. But I didn't expect this. I thought I could have like fisheries in between the docks. I really didn't expect having to build fisheries instead of docks. And docks are really a good way of getting more resources. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how that develops further. I'll see now the basic docks are getting me more steel. And I was running out of steel at this point. So this is good. Hunting grounds depleted. Good thing I saw that pop up early. So a small waterfall or a nesting place. I think I'll go over here and send the next forager team over there. So they're bringing back the food. There we go. Send them over there. Okay, go back to the city. So I do have some unemployed workers. That's good because they'll be the fishermen. And I've built everything that I promised that I was going to build. Why is this inoperative? No gathering... Oh, right. No gathering resources. But there will be more once they start getting me steel. And I think I should have enough logistic points. No, still not enough. Okay, I'll wait a little bit longer. The food should be okay once I get more. And then the fishery starts work. And then I should really start getting more food. And I do have a lot of I'm not collecting any coal right now. I should place at least five people to collect coal. And I could actually make that building, that resource collecting building here, the gathering post. It would collect all this coal much faster and more efficiently. So build one of those here, draw a road to it, and that should get this coal actually far more efficiently than if I were doing it manually. I think I sent 15 people here, actually 10 people to collect this. So I do have a place to get more workers from. And it's cool that they can build during the night and do their jobs during the day. Because this way you can pretty much ask your workers to work 24-7. But I'm not sure is there some way that the game is going to stop you from doing that. I mean, you did build them the tents and they should be able to live in them and sleep in them and not have to work 24 7. so the bathhouse could be next people living here are less likely to fall ill motivation will rise i need to build it and i'll be requiring to spend coal but i do have a stockpile of coal so i'm gonna go with that but i'm not going to build it now i'm going to wait a few days okay so this needs workers i need a few more and i can spare them from here can actually stop them from being there at full strength okay why is this not having the road access okay i didn't finish the road correctly am i able now to get more engineers excellent three and those three actually i'll go with two and get more workers so i'll order that up and i'm going to stop ordering workers and engineers until i can get my food situation in order but now with the production of raw food the food is incoming so that should be okay i do have the research going on for them to make sure that they do not get injured and i could then make that building unless i need anything else well the bathhouse not right now fishing cooking no uh, for the resources i have built everything that i'm going to build although i could build another sawmill if i have enough personnel yeah, they're not going to be here yet, so I'm not going to go with the sawmill. Which leaves building the profiles manufacturing plant. And I'll do it here, but I won't staff it until this research is finished. Because I don't wish my workers getting injured and then having them 
not operation the motivation is really high this is excellent and this content is pretty much non-existent so so far i've been doing well for these folks i think this metal should finally start arriving and they should start picking it up i mean they were wasting their time here because there was no resources here but they'll be working now and taking this metal these guys are gonna be taking this wood but they're kind of slow this thing is bringing wood faster 20 per hour well these guys are just taking 8.6 per hour so basically i could have two of these buildings and they would still not be able to take as much of this wood that the basic dogs can produce so that's very interesting does that mean that i'm going to have to spam these buildings next to the docks it may actually mean uh, just that but i think that the efficiency can be increased through research possibly because i already had faster gathering more efficient gathering and faster reloading no docks will be more efficient no i definitely don't need that reduce depot resource depots will be able to store more no no really allows us to build a reload which gather power oh there we go so reloading stations are the ones that are going to be able to pick this up much faster but these require steam cores actually so that's what upgrades the gathering posts those real uh, what are they called i just looked at it but i already forgot so the reloading station those are the ones i need to build next to docks to use their full effect so the forges just reached the waterfall there are fish jumping in the water but not many but enough meal for the team perhaps we should find more upstream all right so rustering falls or the rapids series of rapids at the bottom of gorge or something just out from the rocks like a huge blade of dry grass how about they go over here and we'll see what happens from there i need to check on the food production on the fishery yeah 5.9 per hour now that's better and the research i'm still researching this this is being built i think this is enough we have reached up to day nine i have a lot of things going on and i hope that you have enjoyed this let's play thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode